When drivers of future Mercedes models stomp the accelerator of their electric performance cars, they'll get extra oomph out of the batteries because of something that sounds straight out of Back to the Future. No, not flux capacitors, but axial flux motors. The whole car community has been aching for a revolution for the past decade or so, and Mercedes-Benz decided to one-up the entire industry as they've come up with an engine technology that was never seen before. How does this new engine function, and when will it enter production? Let's dive deep and discover Mercedes' all-new axial flux engine that disrupted the entire car industry. If you don't know it yet, Mercedes-Benz is the first proper car company. The company's first car, which was also the first proper car ever, the Benz Patent Motor Car Model No. 1, was made almost 140 years ago, back in 1886, and they've been considered the most desirable and prestigious brand ever since. Let's be honest. We all want a Merc. It doesn't matter if you're broke or filthy rich. Mercedes has always been the alluring and desirable choice. But their desirability doesn't come exclusively from their heritage, as their brand image was always backed up by their continuous willingness to experiment and innovate, and they've been doing it ever since. For example, did you know that the first self-driving vehicle wasn't actually a Tesla? Believe it or not, the first autonomous vehicle was actually an experimental Mercedes-Benz W, 114250 automatic that was made and tested 55 years ago. Cool stuff, right? Also, did you know that the first proper road-going supercar wasn't a Ferrari or a Lamborghini? It was the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. If you ask us, the 300 SL is also by far the most beautiful car ever made. Just look at it. It's so effortlessly elegant while also exuding sportiness. And just take a look at those beautiful gullwing doors. It's really impeccable design-wise, isn't it? Well, Mercedes-Benz has just like in the past, decided to be the forager of the car industry's future. And they've been working hard on making this all-new engine a reality. After years of hard work, we've finally got it. So let's take a look at how this new engine functions. The new axial flux motor that Mercedes-Benz presented recently is a completely new way of thinking. Despite being an electric motor, it functions completely differently from those that we've been seeing in Teslas and older EV Mercs. The biggest difference you'll see between them is the fact that the gap between the rotor and the stator of the axial flux motor is aligned parallel with the axis of rotation, unlike the regular radial gap motor, which has its direction of magnetic flux between the rotor and the stator aligned perpendicularly to the axis of rotation. This means that the motor takes up a much thinner silhouette, similar to a pancake, which is why it's commonly known as the pancake motor. Instead of the concentric cylindrical geometry of the radial gap motor, the radial gap motor has been the standard in the past because it was much cheaper and faster to mass produce, as they have considerably fewer magnets compared to the pancake motor. However, the axial flux motor offers a much higher amount of torque due to the fact that its rotating member is found on the outer diameter. This means that an axial motor design offers up to 40% more torque compared to its similarly sized radial counterpart while also lowering its overall motor footprint. Torque is one of the most important parameters when it comes to EVs, and having it in abundance is always good. Also, axial motors cool considerably easier, which means they won't be heavily strained and overloaded even after extensive usage. One of the biggest names in the axial flux motor industry is by far the British manufacturer YASA. YASA was founded 14 years ago in 2009, and they've been working on commercializing axial flux motors ever since. In 2015, they equipped an EV with six axial motors, and that car managed to set new records at the Pikes Peak Climb, where it shredded through the hills with little to no effort. This turned a lot of heads in the car industry, most notably Ferrari, which decided to start working with YASA on their new top-secret hybrid supercar. Nine years later, the company got an even wider audience and much-needed appreciation, 
after the fruits of this collaboration came to light in the form of the famed Ferrari SF90 Stradale, which was the first hybrid supercar in the world. The SF90 utilized three axial flux motors that were developed and produced by YASA, and combined with the 4.0 twin-turbo V8, they produced around 1,000 horsepower. Unfortunately, the SF90 is a very expensive vehicle, as it starts at over $500,000, which makes it a very limited number car, too. This meant that Yasa wouldn't be able to achieve their commercialization of the axial flux motor. Mercedes-Benz claims that this is the world's first sports car with a lounge interior. However, the pièce de résistance is most definitely what's powering the car. Mercedes hasn't yet announced how powerful the powertrain is. However, they said that the axial flux motors that power the Vision 111 produce motorsport-like levels of horsepower and torque from a considerably smaller package, which means that the whole car is actually considerably lighter than its entire competition while still offering equal or even higher levels of power. This then translates to the car being way more tossable in the corners without losing any of the cornering stability, as the gravitational point will remain the same and even get lowered compared to having a radial flux motor. Thanks to the featherweight chassis, the powertrain will not be overloaded significantly, which, combined with the fact that the axial flux motors are way more power efficient, will translate into a considerably larger range compared to its competition which is what EVs have been striving toward for the past two decades. Oh, and you might be thinking that the Vision 111 is a one-off, but you'd be so wrong. The Vision 111 will be a limited-run, road-going EV hypercar, so there's a chance that you'll be seeing one in person. Of course, it's a small chance, as there will be only 111 made in total, and some of those won't even be sold. However, we're still fascinated by Mercedes's continuous success in revolutionizing the market and giving the people what they want.